welcome to our Gemini May 2022 reading. Super excited because I am a Gemini sun. So this is for all Gemini suns, Gemini moon, Gemini rising, or maybe you got Gemini dancing somewhere else in your chart, or you have some Gemini friends that you're just trying to understand, <laughs> then you're in the right place. Okay. So uh, before we get started here, first off, I am Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and you can check out all of my information down below. You can check out my website, Leon Mystery School, Desert Cauldron over on Etsy. Um, and by the way, my Instagram, uh, which is at Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, um, there is a apparently an imposter, an imposter account. So it's at Kittens, Weights, and Tarot 2 is the imposter account. So if they've been trying to contact you, report and block please. All right. So here we are. Let's dive into May of 2022. I'm feeling all nice and jazzed up. I uh, got to go to the Peralta Trail today here in Arizona. It was a beautiful, beautiful trail. We didn't even get to do the whole trail. Hey, Michelle, <laughs> um, because it's uh, six miles out and six miles back um, and we're getting a little hungry. So we, we went about, I think, six miles in total, but it's beautiful. It's mostly up. You're mostly going up the whole time, but it's gorgeous. The views, the mountains, the cactus, just amaze balls. So I'm kind of like going off that energy right now. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Um, Christina. Hey, it says May is my birth month. Woo -woo. <laughs> so during our Sunday live chat, you'll have to let us know which week that is so we can sing you a little happy birthday. <laughs> um, okay. So Let's go ahead and break up some of the energy here. Uh, we want to make sure that we get the best and clearest messages for our best and highest good uh, for everybody who is going to watch in the replay or watching right now. Okay, so here we go. It just gets everything just so nice and high vibe. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and get our elements going as I'm going to cast an elemental circle. Remember, energy does not know space or time, so you don't have to physically be here with me in the room in order to receive the benefits of being within the circle. All right, so let's light our candle here and just intending for that fire energy to cleanse our space no matter where we are in the world and bringing in a little bit of air energy. It says, at my age, I don't celebrate birthdays. Aw, I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna try to at least do a little, a little jig, even when I'm like 116. <laughs> All right, so lovely Palo Santo. <sighs> just smells amaze balls. So again, in intending that the Palo Santo helps to clear our space no matter where we are. And now bringing in some full moon water. Let's cleanse it up, baby. Boop, and a little at me. <laughs> All right. And for that earth energy, I have my Mosasaur tooth. Yes, this is a 90 million year old Mosasaur tooth with an Ethiopian opal. Boom, right in there. Uh, just the energy is amazing. And it, this is a small but powerful wand. We have one more similar to this one, not exactly the same, but it's in Desert Cauldron. So check it out on Etsy if you are interested. Um, Ivy, hey, so this is my first time I've caught a live reading. Well, hey, welcome, welcome. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start off casting that elemental circle going to start here to the right of me and that is the north so calling in the elementals of the north to help us to cast our circle today at the same time I'm just grounding my energy and connecting to source all right thanking the elementals of the east asking them to help us to cast our circle today asking the elementals of the south to help us to cast our circle today and asking the elementals of the West to help us to cast our circle today. All right, the circle is cast. Let our work begin, and so it is. All right. 
Okay, so I have my little my little outline of uh, things that we'll be able to dive into today. So we're going to start off first with the Gemini May 2022 reading, the monthly reading, and then we'll go into specific areas afterwards for our Geminis. Okay, so um, the decks that I'm going to be working with are the daily crystal inspiration cards because I figured, hey, you know, maybe it would be helpful to work with a crystal for this month or a crystal of similar energy. I also have the essential oil oracle cards for those of you that like to work with essential oils or herbs. I myself am a little bit green witchy, so I love working with essential oils and herbs. I'm also going to use the playful heart tarot and my Wally's World Oracle. Ah, my Wally and Wally toe. And if you're interested in Wally's World, the link is down below. I'm also going to use my Witch's Tarot that I have in here. Those are the backs of those cards. Very cool. And I'm going to use the Universal Folk Oracle. And lastly, the 100 Ink Animals Oracle. And the backs of those cards look just like voila. All right. So let's dive into that monthly reading. Okay, so I'm going to pull a theme card. I'm going to pull um, some cards based on a spread that James and I came up with. Um, and since we're kind of going into Taurus season, it's um, kind of a Taurus-esque type spread. But this, I believe the questions are good for all signs. So that's why I'm using this with all of the Zodiac readings this month. Okay, um, and then I'll pull an essential oil card and a crystal card. All right, so give me just a moment. Let me pull all of those cards. You guys get nice and cozy. Find a nice blankie. If it's cold where you are. Here, it's, it's kind of warm. <laughs> um, so maybe just uh, get cozy on the couch, chair, uh, laying in bed. Maybe you're just listening somewhere in your home. Um, maybe grab something to drink, warm or hot. For me, I'd probably grab a... A cold drink. All right, looks like Wally has spoken, so I'll just keep that card turned over. We'll take a look at it when we're ready. And now I'm gonna bust out that playful heart tarot and use that with the spread that James and I created. Okay, here we go. Getting our spready spread on. <laughs> And if you're wondering what the questions are, it's five questions. And the questions are, where do I have an excess of abundance? You know, sometimes we're always talking about, can we get some more abundance? Well, let's take a look at where there is an excess of it. Um, where are our boundaries weak and where are our boundaries strong so we can work on them? And how can we form stronger bonds with others, but also a Torian trait that we can embrace? Okay, so give me a moment just to pull those cards okay. all right and these shuffle so nicely by the way um Christina said, haven't seen you in so long. Who is James? If I might ask, James is my boyfriend. So he's actually over there watching television right now. We just uh, got back not too long ago from our hike out on the Peralta Trail here in Arizona. So yeah, a lot's happened in the past year and some change. <laughs> uh, I left my, my high school teaching job uh, out in San Diego, uh, became tarot reader full-time, doing YouTube full-time. Um, moved out here to Arizona and now I'm with my twin flame. <laughs> uh, Christina's like, wow, that's great. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been quite the journey and, um, ended up buying some acreage up North and that's where I would like to put hashtag burning sage. I really do want to have that retreat someday and it's going to happen. It takes, it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to happen. All right, uh, the Celestial Sisters Enchanted channel. Hey, hey, how are you? <laughs> All right, and then lastly, I'm just gonna pull a daily crystal inspiration card. All right, let's see, Gemini, Gemini. A crystal for the month of May. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Um, Christina's like, we can all go there then. Exactly. <laughs> um, and Celestial Sister says, I'm good. And you, I'm doing fabulous. Got to go on a beautiful hike today. Been out in the sun for many, many hours. Uh, we've been out there since this morning. Um, so basically, we've been out there all day just hiking and having fun and yeah, just being out in nature. It's, it was just miles and miles and miles of just mountains and hills and cactus for as far as you can see. It was just tranquil and beautiful, amazing. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at our very first card, Gemini, um, sun, moon, rising, um, with our question, where do we have an excess of abundance? Okay, let's take a little look-ski. <laughs> Celestial Sister says, awesome. Okay, so we have temperance. <laughs> Bless you. Christina says, I look tanned and healthy. Well, thank you. I got quite a bit of sun today. <laughs> it was it was a really good time. I can't wait to go back out there. There's like so many trails to go check out. So uh, definitely a place we're going to be going back again and again. Okay. Excess of abundance, Gemini. Here we have temperance. Um, and actually, I believe this is an overabundance of compromise. Yeah, I know it's sometimes I get some unusual messages coming off the cards, but this one I'm getting with compromise. Um, now, Gemini, I know that you have the gift of gab and sometimes we can be one polarity or the other in a span of like two seconds. But, <laughs> um, but I'm getting with this one um, with many of us, this is not all of us, but with many of us that maybe have difficulties um, speaking our truth even though we are like the chatty bunch the communicative bunch sometimes it's hard to speak our truth when we are in a situation with other people where we love them and maybe it might be we're have a hard time saying what we need to say for fear of upsetting them so this is more just to keep everything calm cool collected i don't want any drama although gemini sometimes we love to see the drama we just don't want to be in the drama <laughs> And so this is where I'm seeing, you know, an avoidance of drama, drama for your mama <laughs> and more wanting to um, just compromise. Let's just do what the other person wants to do or let's just do this and we'll just call it a day. You know, don't even want to mess with it. So it seems like we have an over excess of this compromise. Um, it doesn't mean that we should never compromise, uh, but when you notice it becoming a pattern and it's something that every time there is a possible conflict, even if it's not a full-fledged conflict arises and we go right into, um, let's just play it safe mode. I don't even want any sort of anything. I don't even know if the person would get upset at me. I don't even wanna know. Let's just compromise. So just something to think about and maybe work on in the month of May and to see if that actually resonates with you, you know, do a little bit of a meditation on that. Okay, so let's take a look at where we can beef up our boundaries just a little bit since uh, Taurus is all about boundaries. Um, and we want to have that Taurus energy helping us Geminis out as we go into Taurus season. And so here we have the Ace of Cups. All right, so when it comes to feeling the emotions of others. Um, for many of us, again, I'm not speaking in absolutes like this is all of us, this is just for many of us. We tend to let our guard down when the tears of another start flowing. Like somebody, somebody seems visibly upset with us or um, they become upset in a particular way, they start crying and all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, we don't wanna be, the person yelling or being mean at somebody who is visibly upset or crying and so we were sometimes go oh well it, it's okay it's okay you know just <laughs> don't cry you know and so the sight of tears um, or somebody being displeased with us is like the ultimate like trigger <laughs> for many Gemini's. So it's like, okay, well, um, yeah, let's, let's just do it your way then, you know, and that way, you know, that way the person maybe stops crying and then they get their way. And then, you know, at least they're happy. Maybe you're not happy, but you're like, well, you know, I just don't want people upset. Um, so 
that might be a boundary to work on is when we let the boundaries down because somebody appears to be upset at us or um, they begin crying not not a genuine cry by the way that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the crocodile tears that sometimes people will put out there because they don't like that things maybe aren't going their way and they know that that is the best way to get your way is to cry in front of somebody and then maybe they'll just let you do your thing <laughs> so okay so maybe a little look into that boundary but let's take a look at where our boundaries have been mega strong so all right Gemini we have the Empress okay so when it comes to taking care of yourself um, be it your mental health physical emotional health spiritual health you've been pretty good at that boundary you know not letting other people interfere with you taking good care of yourself now at times maybe we let our, our boundary down when like I just previously said, somebody is shedding some crocodile tears or, you know, they're just throwing a hissy fit, hoping that they'll just wear you down and they'll be able to get their way. Um, and those are those of us that want to avoid conflict might let down our boundaries there. But when it comes to overall, just overall in general, our health, you know, in terms of mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, we tend to put up a firm boundary like hey you're not gonna mess with me in this way you're not gonna mess with my mental health you're not messing with my emotional health <laughs> all that much you're not messing with my spiritual health so on and so forth so you guys are really good at taking care of your healthy bodies so excellent and that's also our spirit body as well not just our human fleshy body <laughs> So good job on you guys, Gemini. So continue to take great care of yourselves and remember to really tap into your intuition when it comes to people possibly manipulating you with their emotions. Okay, uh, let's look at where we can form stronger bonds with others. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, there are many lone wolves out there. Gemini. I know that I am one of those and maybe it's because of my Scorpio rising, but oftentimes I just like to be able to do everything myself because I know exactly what kind of effort's being put into it. I know exactly what's being done because I'm the one doing everything. Although I know that it's not feasible to always do everything myself. I'm not the only person on this planet. And I know that some of you out there are like that as well, where it's like, I'll just do it myself. I don't need any help. But really, if you want to form strong bonds with others, which, which is important because we're here on this planet with all these people for a reason, you know, in order to, to form some form of bond or working relationship um, or romantic relationship, just friends, friendship maybe, these types of bonds here while we have this time on this planet so see if you can incorporate others even if it's not a lot of other people just help incorporate them into whatever it is that you're doing um, maybe releasing that control a little bit and allowing others to shine you know uh, you seeing what they're capable of and you know what you're capable of so let's all like bring it to the table <laughs> and see what we can accomplish Together. And you might be surprised that doing something together um, will be an interesting journey. You'll learn a lot about yourself, they'll learn a lot about themselves, and uh, you might create something that is beyond what you thought could be created because you weren't the only person working on that particular thing. Uh, Celestial Sister says, going to sleep. Bye, everyone. All right, you have a wonderful evening. Get a good night's sleep. <laughs> All right. Um, moving on to our final question here, a Taurian trait that we can embrace. Okay, and we have the Four of Cups. All right, Gemini, zipping around like a crazy head sometimes. Time to just take it easy a little bit. Um, and this has already been the message for Aries so far, Taurus so far, and us. So that trait of taking your time you know that taurus energy yes sometimes taurus can be a raging bull and you know but it, they are slow to anger and oftentimes take their time just enjoying the moment if you want to think about like ferdinand from the old cartoons um so that's definitely something that we can try to embrace 
this month is just enjoying being where you're at. Like today when uh, we were out on the Peralta Trail, um, you know, I, I could have been thinking about everything I want to do when I get home and the live chat today and all of that, but it was just, I, I, you know, had to be really focused on where I was walking, number one, so I didn't twist my ankle and break my neck, but, <laughs> but also it was just so much. I didn't want to be out of that moment. It was so beautiful. And if we could try to live um, most of our day like that, oh my goodness, um, just the, the feeling, the emotion, you know, is, is amazing. So, you know, maybe that's, that's something that we can try to embrace in the month of May. So slow down just a little bit, Gemini. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's take a look at a possible essential oil that you guys might want to utilize. Um, it could be just maybe an essential oil of a similar energy or, you know, something like that. But okay, so it looks like this is more just a hint towards whatever type of essential oil. Then some of the cards have actual essential oil names and some of them are like energies and so you get to choose like what essential oil you want to choose based on that energy so we have elevate is the keyword and when thinking of elevating um ooh, ooh, and i'm you're thinking of herbs mugwort baby mugwort i <laughs> have been using a little bit of mugwort lately and let me tell you you want that third eye open you want to elevate your consciousness you want to like bring up the high vibes mugwort Okay, but that's just me, you know, so I leave this open to you guys. Whatever essential oil or herb you want to use that has that elevate, elevation uh, type energy. Okay, so uh, this is a joyful energy as well. And the statement here is, I persevere. So no matter what gets in your way, you persevere with joy and an elevated sense of um, spirituality, like being able to see things from a higher perspective instead of just, you know, being in the 3D. So realize that you're a 3D body, but you're also a consciousness that's way up here. So bringing those two together, have them meet in the middle so that you can persevere in whatever it is that you guys are trying to accomplish. Okay, it says release the worry and fear and allow confidence, trust, and strength to take you to your goal. Boom. All right, you guys. So, um, yeah, let me know what maybe herbs or essential oils you guys are thinking of. And let's see, let's oops, just making sure I'm not like sitting on cards. Okay. The crystal that maybe Gemini, including myself, uh, we can use for the month of May is Labradorite. It says, see the magic. All right. And I know that I have a ton of Labradorite. So maybe if you don't have any Labradorite, you can always just meditate on an image of it on the internet. It may not be the same as actually holding it, but I do believe you can still get some benefit from it. Um, or maybe you find a crystal that you resonate with more that has very similar type energy. All right, excellent. And let's take a look at that theme. What Wally said for, or had picked out for us for our theme for the month of May. All right, and here we have hodads. <laughs> <laughs> so I see the theme as being able to find stillness, present moment in a very chaotic May. So um, I didn't really get an uber chaos for um, Aries and Taurus for the last two uh, Zodiac readings I've done. But for Gemini specifically, it seems like May is going to be pretty busy. There's going to be a lot going on. So in order for us not to get burned out and, you know, just put our energy every well, willy-nilly, um, we're going to have to embrace some of that Taurian energy that I talked about before and slow down <laughs> just a little bit, uh, learn to bring in the present moment. This will also help with fears and anxieties, you know, because we're always worrying about what will be or what can be, we're taken out of where we are right now. So I really see the theme this month is being in the present moment and finding some quiet time, some stillness amongst the chaos so <laughs> I'm, I'm working with you guys on that one <laughs> all right um let's take a look into a few specific areas for us gemini for the month of may so let's take a look at health wealth love and career and for that i would like to bust out my witch's tarot all right so gemini gemini what do we have for health 
what do we have for health? And remember, health is all-encompassing. So everything from our mental health, spiritual, emotional, physical, dietary health, all of that. All right, Gemini, what do we got? And put these cards here. And wealth. Gemini, wealth. Gemini, love. Love. Gemini, love. And lastly, Gemini career, Gemini career, whether we work for ourselves or we work for someone else. All right, put these back in the cute little bag. Okay. Alrighty here. Uh, let's take a look into health, specifically Gemini health. Let's see, we have the Hierophant. Okay. Um, I'm getting more physical and mental health um, with this card for the majority of our Geminis out there. It may be time to reevaluate um, the best practices for mental health for you personally and for physical health. I know that there is a plethora of information out there on the internet, television, you know, people saying, this is how you get in shape. This is how you need to look, <laughs> you know, this is what you need to do in order to look or be healthy. Um, and then when it comes to your mental health, this is what you need to do to have perfect mental health. Well, that would be fantastic if we were all just the same and none of us was different or, you know, came from different backgrounds or, you know, whatever. So um, I think that there are some nuggets out there that we could use maybe in our own um, personal wellness journey. Um, but you may need to start writing things down on things that are and are not working for you in terms of mental health and physical health and not getting down on yourself because it's not working for you the way it did for your friend or the way it did for somebody that you saw on social media or on television. That's a completely different person on a completely different journey. And we have to remember that when it comes to our physical health and our mental health, that we don't look the same. Our journeys don't look the same, um, but we can share amongst each other things that do work for us. So we can take bits and pieces and custom tailor them for our health. So, I think that it would be very beneficial for you guys, all you Geminis out there, again, sun, moon, rising, to really take a look at personally what is going to work for you at this moment in time, because we're always changing and evolving, right? So this moment in time, what's going to work with you physically and what's going to work for you in your mental health journey. So i um, going to take a little bit of journaling and a little bit of sleuthing, but it'll be all for your benefit in the end. So... <laughs> All right, wealth. Okay, wealth. We have the page of cups. Um, do we have a cups that came up earlier? Yes, it was the ace of cups. Oh, we have another four of cups. All right, so we've had a, a little bit of watery energy coming in this month, so maybe take note of that. Um, okay, but for wealth, I am seeing some opportunities. So perhaps there are some, for those of you that work for other people, perhaps there is an opportunity coming out up at work uh, for you to maybe take on a little side project or do you want to help this person out and you know maybe you get a little bit extra coin <laughs> in the in the process but I do see there being some opportunities coming up for you where you can earn a little bit extra um, back when I was a teacher at the school district I used to coach uh, on the track and field team um, and it was a nice little extra bit of money and extra stipend but of course I just loved coaching so I didn't really see it as really work after work. <laughs> um, so it could be something like that. You know, you, you vol not really volunteer, but you sign up to do something, maybe working with kids and uh, you make a little bit of extra cash on the side. Or if you work for yourself, um, maybe there is somebody who comes around, you know, again, communicating, forming strong bonds with people. Where's my card? Where's my card here? Here it is. <laughs> Christina's like birthday money. Hey, <laughs> yes. For all of you guys that are celebrating a birthday in May, this could be your birthday money as well. Um, but remember working with people. Um, so you want to build some stronger bonds, find a way to bring people in, stop, drop, collaborate and listen. <laughs> um, and we could possibly bring in some more cash in the meantime. Ooh, Ivy also. All right, all right. All the birthday babies. 
<laughs> okay, so definitely this is going to be somebody's birthday cash, um, but I also see it as uh, opportunities for people being able to make a little extra dough here and there. So that'll definitely be beneficial for us. Okay, uh, let's take a look into love. Ooh, ooh. We have the nine of pentacles. All right. <laughs> I see people either with a partner or without a partner, um, you know, whether people are, are looking or not feeling pretty darn good about themselves. Maybe it could be because you got a little bit of extra cash coming in this month. Um, but also maybe with this uh, Hierophant card that we had with your health, maybe because you changed up your routine when it comes to your mental health and your physical health, that you're just feeling a lot better. And so when you feel more comfortable in your skin and when you just feel all over, just in general, you just feel good. Um, you start radiating that outwards. You know, we're always radiating energy all the time, you know, but especially when you're like in a really like, I feel good about myself. I feel good about where I am right now. That type of energy. Just notice how it seems like the world around you shifts and changes, you know, because you feel good. It seems like people around you start to feel good. You know, a lot of good things start coming to you a little bit more quickly just because you're in that energy of like, yeah. <laughs> So when it comes to love, um, I do see there being, I would say, uh, if you, okay, we'll start with the people in relationships. The people in relationships, um, I do see you maybe taking the reins a little bit more in that relationship, being like, ho, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> um, this is what I need. This is what I would like, you know, while also listening to the other person, but being a little bit more assertive in your relationship and it being a very positive thing. Um, if you're not in a relationship right now, I just see that um, being able to just be assertive in general because you feel so good all over just in general, your whole aura, your whole physical being feels good. A lot of people are taking notice like, oh, hey. <laughs> and you can choose to acknowledge those people or not. That's totally up to you. Um, but I do see you being quite the shining star in the month of May work that assertiveness. Okay, lastly, we have career um, and we have the Ace of Swords. So with this one right away, the information that was coming in was change up. It's time for a bit of a change when it comes to whatever it is that you do for a living. Like I said, some of you guys work for other people. Some of you guys work for yourselves. Um, I myself, obviously I'm self-employed. You know, I have Kittens, Weights and Tarot, but I also have Desert Cauldron with James. And um, so if you guys are self-employed, it might be time to kind of change up um, maybe what you do within that business or how you go about making money or advertising for that business um, so that you can bring in more people uh, to that business. If you work for somebody else, it might be a time to just change up a little bit um, how you view that job or um, perhaps even what you do within that job. For some people, they may take it to the extreme and be like, I'm done with this job. Boom, mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> and that's totally up to you. If you are in that energy right now and that's what your higher self is saying, then I say go with it. You know, I'm always like, listen to your heart, boom, go, because that's what led me here and I'm pretty darn happy. So it's time for a bit of a change uh, when it comes to career this month. So just change things up ever so slightly. Like I said, some of you guys are just going to make some huge changes, but I saw this more as like little changes uh, for people. All right. I would also like to look into a possible opportunity and a possible block that we could encounter in May of 2022. And so for that, I'm going to use my Universal Folk Oracle. Alrighty, here. Do, 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 do. Just moving all this stuff off to the side. Okay. All right, Gemini, May 2022. Gemini, May 2022. Okay, let's take a look at a possible block that us Geminis might encounter in May of 2022. All right, and here we have adventure, laughter, spontaneous nature, and renewal. Okay, 
<laughs> I was getting like, I, I was telling you guys how wonderful I feel after my hike today on the Peralta Trail and that we want to go back and we want to see, you know, all these other trails, but it's going to start getting warm here in Arizona. Well, it's already warm, but I mean like triple digits warm, you know, because we're already like in the 80s and 90s, uh, but we're going to start going into the hundreds fairly soon. So our spring is almost over here in the valley in Arizona. So we only have maybe a few more good weeks. And what I'm getting here, no matter where you live, I'm just speaking for Arizona, then it might be a little harder for you to go out and find nature, um, meaning the, take the time to go ride your bike or a walk or go drive your car to that trail or to that hiking point. Or um, maybe if you do a little bit of off-roading like me and Quetzalcoatl, my little Jeep. <laughs> so it might be harder for you to go out and go do those things. I remember I said uh, we are going to try to embrace that Taurian energy of being in the present and being more mindful and just taking things a lot more slowly. Um, and for many of us, what brings us to the present moment is being able to go out into nature. But if that's not possible, then what is the workaround that you're going to need to do in order to, you know, work on your emotional, spiritual, physical health, mental health, um, if you can't do the thing that you've always done, like let's say go hiking or go off-roading or, you know, uh, go for a walk around the neighborhood. If that's not possible, like maybe it's too hot outside or in some places it's too cold outside, um, or maybe they're doing road work where you used to go walking, um, you're going to probably need to find a creative way to still feel filled up with, with that nature energy, but just not being able to go to the places that you normally do. So I do see that as a possible block. And right now my wheels are already spinning because I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I can't go to those places? Like what I'm going to do? <laughs> All right. Um, a possible opportunity then, oops, sorry, I'm like banging the microphone here. <laughs> <laughs> what possible opportunity then uh, might we have in May? And it says duality, which Gemini, we are duality. Anyway, duality, self-awareness, observe, release. All right, the opportunity then is to fully embrace the Gemini qualities. And as we know, when we, you know, look up Gemini, there's, we have a whole ton of positive traits as do all signs. And we have some shadowy traits as well when Gemini goes to the extreme. <laughs> so um, maybe take a look, uh, you could do a little um, internet search and maybe look up positive traits for Gemini, negative traits for Gemini or shadow traits. And notice when sometimes our shadow traits pop up for us and you know, how can we tweak them to um, benefit our best and highest good and for those around us. And for your positive traits, really notice them and notice you employing them and notice how it changes the environment and people's attitudes around you. So you have that very dualistic nature. Um, you're able to be here and there. You're able to be the party animal and you're able to be the observer. So um, taking all of that into account and also taking our shadowy traits and our positive traits. Dude, go full Gemini this month. Just, just do it, just do it. <laughs> You go full Gemini. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay. Um, I would now like to go into... Oh, yay! Yay, yay, yay! All right. This is the viewer's choice, you guys. So everybody who's in the chat right now, you have a chance to vote on next question. So this will be the final question of the evening. So you have that chance. Um, and it's only for people who are here today. Okay. So I have two questions. You guys vote on one of the two questions with an emoji. If you don't have a chance to get to your emojis, then you're either gonna type the words red heart or you're gonna type the words green heart. Okay, so here we go, here it is. First question, if this is the question that you would like me to pull a card on, please vote with a red heart emoji. April showers bring May flowers. What lesson must be learned before my next biggest manifestation can come to fruition? What lesson must be learned before my next biggest manifestation can come to fruition? All right, so if you like that question, vote with a red heart or vote with a green heart if you would like this question. What outer truth am I ignoring? What outer truth am I ignoring? All right, you guys, go ahead and cast your votes. All right, Christina's got the red heart there. 
All right, again, so if you don't have access to your emojis, just type red heart or green heart. Um, otherwise, go ahead and give it a red heart emoji or a green heart emoji. Um, again, those people that are tuning in, the red heart emoji is for what lesson must be learned before my biggest manifestation can come to fruition. Vote with a green heart for what outer truth am I ignoring? All right, so it looks like we have one, two, three red hearts and one green heart. I'll wait to see if there's any more votes. And in the meantime, I'm going to get my cards out for you guys. I'm gonna use the 100 ink animals. All right, Tammy Pie has a green heart. So we have two green hearts, three red hearts. All right, all right. Keep them going, you guys, keep them going. <laughs> And I'll just give these a nice shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay. Uh, Christina's like, you have five watching and five thumbs ups. I rarely see that. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. Oh, and the fives. Ooh, I'm thinking of five energy. Five energy is a fast paced moving energy in my numerology. Okay, so it looks like one, two, three, we're gonna go with our red hearts. All right, red hearts. Okay, so the question that we're gonna be pulling a card for, April showers bring May flowers. What lesson must be learned before my next biggest manifestation can come to fruition? All right, we wanna learn these lessons and <laughs> <laughs> go on to the next awesome thing all right so what lesson must be learned before our next biggest manifestation can come to fruition okay all right i'm put these back in their little bag here okay let's take a look here Ooh, we have elk zeal you know all over these mountains here and as you get closer to like the white mountains and everything there's supposed to be tons of elk around here i have yet to see an elk i've seen a lot of deer but i have yet to see any elk anyway moving on <laughs> okay so the lesson that needs to be learned before our next biggest manifestation can take place um, or come to fruition uh, we have elk energy so let me just tap into elk real quick uh, and get us a message as I love working with animal medicine. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So I was just tapping into elk and <laughs> elk is like, first of all, kind of answering my 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 little rant that I was having saying that I never see any elk anywhere it was like maybe you haven't slowed down enough for you to notice us little Gemini <laughs> I'm like oh that's true because my mind's always running a million miles an hour and I'm always like what's that what's that what's that and I probably there probably is like elk like literally right in front of my face I probably just don't see it so thanks a lot elk <laughs> anyway what I was getting um for the answer for our our big our big lesson that we need to learn is being i know it sounds trite but being happy where we are um knowing that the next material item or having a particular person come into our life you know all of these external things cannot to a core make us genuinely happy at our core is us and only we can make ourselves quote unquote happy. Now we can't be happy beings all the time because that's not part of our journey here on earth. We're meant to experience a gamut of emotions. That's why we have so many emotions. We're here to experience them and understand them. But when we're looking at one of those particular emotions, those emotions of being happy, feeling satisfied, uh, sometimes we look outside of ourselves. If I could just do this, man, I'm going to be so happy that day. Well, why aren't you happy right now? You know, if I won the lottery, I would be so happy. But what's keeping you from being happy now? If that person would marry me or if I could date that person over there, I would be so happy. But 
why aren't you happy with yourself now? Why do you need to bring in this other person? So these are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. And this is what Elk was saying. Elk's like, we just do our thing, you know, so maybe you don't see us because we're just off doing our thing. <laughs> and we don't care if you see us or not. We're just happy being in the moment. And sure, they're looking forward to things like dinner and things like that. Um, and they have things to worry about. But for the most part, it's all about being in the present and being joyous where they are right now. So. Uh, one of our biggest lessons at this moment is being able to find joy in just who we are right now, where we are in our journey and what we have at the moment. Yes, we can want things, we can have goals, of course, but when we are setting our mindset into the future of those goals not being attained yet or the thing, I don't have it yet, then we take ourselves out of the present and out of the things that we do have and the things that we are grateful for. So um, something that maybe we can all work on this month and from months moving forward is just working on what truly lights us up. And if we're not happy in our current state, why is that really looking deeply into that? So it's going to it's going to take a lot of uh, inner work. So thank you, Elk. Very nice of you. <laughs> Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and do a bit of a healing. So I have my little drum here for you guys. So um, I decided I'm going to use this for all of the zodiac signs this uh, for the month of May. Um, but I want you guys to find yourselves a nice, comfortable spot. I'm going to play a little bit of music for you. I'm going to walk you through uh, a very gentle meditation, just a quick little guided meditation. So find a nice, comfortable place, get something to drink, make sure that all the distractions maybe are, are moved into a different room. And let's just find a little bit of peace as you know, that was our card, you know, just finding a little bit of Torian peace in the present moment here. Um, Tammy Pice says, I love that lesson. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's something I'm going to have to work on too. So, me too, me too. <laughs> All right. Um so let's with our breath work and as I walk you through the breath work, start bringing in um breathing in the things that you want to bring in for May of 2022 and the things that as you exhale that you would like to release. Could be old beliefs, ways of doing things, um and maybe bringing in new ways of looking at things, things to try. You want to you want to bring those in. Okay, so let me, let me start you guys off with the meditation here and then I'll point the camera down so you guys can see the, the drum. Okay, let me get resituated. All right, and just bringing your attention to the breath. I like to breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth, but uh, you can go with what works best for you. And as you're bringing your awareness to your breath and you're taking in those nice deep inhales, start thinking about what it is that your intention is for May. Is there something that you want to try? Is there a different viewpoint that you would like to give a try? Is there something that you would like to analyze more closely in the month of May? Start breathing in those intentions in a nice deep breath where you fill up the lungs, you fill up the diaphragm, and you fill up the stomach. And exhale. And a nice full exhale, belly button all the way to the spine. And as you're exhaling, what is something that you want to let go of this month? What is something that you want to release? Again, it could be a thought process, habit, way of being, way of doing things, scheduling, and energy. Continue breathing in and out. Okay, and as you continue breathing, you can imagine roots coming out from your posterior your legs, your feet, and those roots going down, down, down into the earth. Let them twist and move and tangle with all the other root systems on this planet, be the actual or energetic, the energetic roots of crystals, animals, 
humans, the both physical and energetic root systems of plants, just intertwining with all of these root systems as a reminder that you are not alone on this planet. There is so much that you are surrounded by and allow your roots to become closer to Mama Gaia's core until you finally reach that core in which you want to wrap those roots tightly around that core, that Koyopa energy, also known as like the lightning bolt energy in Mayan astrology. It is her heartbeat. And start breathing in that energy. Bring it up from your roots all the way up through your core, all the way up through your highest chakras, up towards source. You want to fill source energy with Gaia energy. And at the same time, bringing that source energy down through your highest chakras, from your soul star chakra, crown chakra, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, root, down through your ground star chakra, down into Mama Gaia. You are now this beautiful conduit. What a magnificent time to be in this human form where you can be both conduit for Gaia and conduit for source. Just feel those two energies dancing within you as they move through you. Okay, I'm going to point the camera down uh, for the drum. You guys continue focusing on your intention and focusing on your breath and visualization.
guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the sounds of the drum. Uh, it was just one of my fave instruments there. So pretty. <laughs> All right, you guys, so thank you so much for showing up today and hanging out with me, um, you know, hanging out after dinner, just chillaxing, pulling a few cards, just checking up on what Gemini has scheduled for next month. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and close up the circle and proceed with my gratitude. So uh, we did cast an elemental circle today, so I'm busting out my mosasaur tooth once again and we're going to bring that energy back in through here and we're going to put it back into mama gaia all right so starting again at the north just thanking the elementals of the north for helping us to cast our circle today thanking the elementals of the west for helping us to cast our circle today thanking the elementals of the south for helping us to cast our circle today and thanking the elementals of the east for helping us to cast our circle today. Thank you all. Our circle is now closed. Thank you to everybody who helped out today. Our work is complete, and so it is. All right. So thank you guys. Let's go ahead and blow out our candle. Make a wish. <laughs> ah, may your wishes come true especially those of you having some birthday wishes coming up soon in May. <laughs> um, all right. So thank you to everybody who came into the chat today. Thank you to everybody who is subscribed. Everybody who gave it a thumbs up. We'll share the video and to all the people who have uh, sent little donations here and there, either through the PayPal me or through the super stickers and super chats. I appreciate them so very much. Remember, it helps me do what I do here and so that I can continue doing it and trying to help people in the best way that I know how and being able to hang out with you guys, which I think is just a splendid thing. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing much more of my live chats than I am of making uh, a pre-recorded video just because you guys are awesome. I like hanging out with you. So thank you guys. And also thank you to my patrons. Oh, my loyal patrons. So thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Surian and Brandy, Samara and V, Kirsten, Silver Wheel Witch, Jason, Kayla and Brian. Thank you all so very much. And yeah, you guys have a great evening then. <laughs> um, and have a, well, who are we looking out with tomorrow? Tomorrow we're hanging out with Cancer? Yes. So <laughs> if you know any Cancerians in your life, just send them my way. We'll, we'll all hang out tomorrow. Um, and I'm also out of uh, yoga tomorrow, actually. So I'm going to be seeing my friend Annette. Um, let's see. Ivy said that was so pretty. Thank you. You're very welcome. Tammy Pie had a little <laughs> And Michelle, you're very welcome as well. All right, you guys. I'll catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out. Bye, guys.